St. Albans was started in 1954 and it was started as a sort of a Slovenian club. Immediately we were uh, accepted uh, really well by the uh, Croatian fraternity, by the Croatian people and uh, there, there was always a very strong following of the club. When we joined with St. Albans, our players were, were mixed. We had, uh, we had Scottish and we had Italian and we had Croatian and we had uh, all sorts of uh, nationalities and it is still true today. Uh, we are a multinational uh, club uh, and we're proud of that. Back in mid-70s we were all playing in different clubs all over Victoria and Light uh, Kasic, fellow Chastny from Clifton Hill, he had a picnic in King Lake of Whittlesey and we all get together there and we said why don't we make one club where we all can play together. The following week or week after at my place we had the first meeting and we even contributed 50 bucks each for our first jerseys. That time in the industrial league you need a, a businessman or a, a firm to sponsor the clubs. So we approached Mr. Miro Hedges and he was more than happy to be our first sponsor and the club was first called Hedges Drafting Dynamo. And back in late 70s, early 80s, St. Albans was going down difficult time and we had one ex-member of our team, Tony Zobin. His relatives was in running the St. Albans and they were going downhill and we come together and sort of merge with them. And that's how it sort of progressed from there. When we joined St Albans, St Albans was uh, relegated to the third division that year. Maybe because we joined up with St Albans or whatever happened, they uh, promoted us straight into the second division. So even before we kicked the ball, we were promoted into the second division. We won the second division in the second season and because they started the National League of Australia, they promoted the club straight away into the State League. So from fourth division of the Industrial League in six years into the State League. This club, Dynamo and St Albans, have been like a nurture for a lot of, lot of uh, young players. And there was a lot of good players that went on to play for top clubs in Australia and for the uh, top teams in Europe that have come to this club and, and we are particularly proud of this. The people that play for the club, they were all like brothers. You know, you know if you want to go to trenches, you would like these people to be around you. There was a group of young blokes or young men, probably best friends you can ever get. We are still together, most of us are still friends. Our kids are friends and our grandkids are friends. My friend here on the right of me is probably the greatest goal scorer that the club had. But I've got one on him, I've scored the first two goals of the club. We worked, presidents and secretaries and all sorts of things through the years, bringing players from overseas and going to political to work out how to get things done. It wasn't easy, you know, you're a maintenance fitter, he's a production manager and stuff like this, so, but we managed. And we are still all passionate. We still come to the club so many years after. There's, there's not many clubs that I feel that are as part of my home and part of my backyard.